Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can collect email addresses from Instagram using a ManyChat automation. Once you have set it up, it's going to look something like this. You go into the Instagram of the person and you type a keyword. In this case, it is email trigger. This is the keyword that triggers this automation. Hey, this is the lead line that you will get, a random picture of the lead line that they will get. Wait three seconds. Sounds good. Let's do it. Give me the lead minute. Awesome. Drop an email address. Well, if I drop now uh, an incorrect email address, just like XYZ, it's going to say, hey, this is not the correct email address. Drop a proper one, like fart at fartmail.com. All right, I'm going to tell you my real email address. Perfect. Your lead minute will be sent to this email. By the way, you can just get the the freebie, if you click here, click, and I get the free document. So this is what we will do in this video. All right, guys, let's get started. And of course, you're going to use ManyChat for this as well. Now you want to go to automation and I'm pretty much just going to go through the template because it's built already pretty, pretty well. And we're going to make tiny changes. So you want to create a new automation. And what we're going to do is we are going to capture customer data with a lead magnet. We're going to get email addresses and we're going to set up this template. All right. So this is how the whole automation looks like. And I'm going to go through every single step of it. The first thing is obviously the trigger. What is going to trigger this automation starts when if the user sends a message with this keyword in it, let's just call it email trigger. And I'm just going to click out and now, oops, email trigger. I'll go ahead and save it here. And now the, if the user sends this message, it's going to trigger the automation. After the user sent this message, they're going to get this um, automatic response. You can do something like, Hey, um, this is the lead magnet that you will get. Sounds good. Question mark. Uh, and then we can put a picture here uh, of the lead magnet that they will get. I will just select a random image from my uh, from my downloads here. Let's say let's put this cute little llama here, and I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna move it back up here. So when they send the keyword, hey, this is the lead magnet that you're gonna get. Sounds good. And then the picture of the llama, and then wait three seconds. And then also after three seconds, it's going to send this message. Wait, you know what? Let's, let's delete this. Sounds good. Sound and let's write it here. Sounds good. And then let's rock. Let's do it. Whatever. Let's do it. Boom. Okay. So we're going to ask for this confirmation. And then if they click this, let's do it button, it's going to take them to the next message, which is going to be great. Blah, 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 blah. Now, uh, you can just write this great or like awesome, uh, drop me an email address where I can send the lead magnet. And then here it's going to give a free keyboard input, which means that the user is going to input the person that triggers this automation on Instagram is going to put their email address here. Bear in mind, this is a pro feature, so you cannot do this with the free version of ManyChat, just so you know. Okay, so we're going to ask for their email address. They're going to put their email address, and then there are two um, possibilities here. If they don't enter their email address, there's going to be a follow-up message after like two hours, I believe, or something like that. Hey, do you still want the lead magnet? Obviously, you can customize this as well. And if yes, if we got an input from the person, then it's going to be like, perfect. Your ebook will be sent here, blah, blah, blah. Now, one more thing that is important here is the user input in itself. So we ask, hey, drop me your email address. And then we wait for the email address of the person. We want to choose here type. The type of input that we are looking for is going to be an email input. If they mess up and they don't write a correct email, they just write blah, 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 just whatever. They want to skip this step. Then the automation is going to detect this is not an email address. Give me the email address. And you can customize the message it's going to get. It's going to give doesn't seem like a correct email address. Um, write it 
in the following format. Let's say fart at fartmail.com. And then if they want to skip, there's a skip button as well. So, so yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then I will make another video on how to connect this automation to actually send an email. That's a little bit more complicated. What we can do instead is just add a next step. So it's going to give a confirmation. Hey, I'm going to send you the email, blah, 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 blah. But I want to add the next step. I want to send them the lead magnet on Instagram as well. So they just get it immediately. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a next step, send message. Uh, by the way, I will just send lead magnet here on IG as well, just in case, just in case. Uh, and then we're going to add a button, click here to get it click here to get it perfect. And then we're going to add a link open website. And I have my automations link here, URL, boom, and then done. So just to summarize, and we're going to go through it again, real quick on the phone, how it looks in real life. The user sends a, a keyword. It sends a greeting message with a picture. Sounds good. This is what you want. Yes. He clicks, let's do it. Then he has awesome drop an email address where I can send it. We are waiting for a reply. If it's not a correct email, it's going to ask, Hey, type a correct email address. If it is a correct email address, it's going to go to the next step, which is perfect. Your ebook will be your, your lead magnet will be sent to the next, uh, lead magnet will be sent to this email address in the following hours, but I will also send you it here. Click to get it. They click and they get it. Now let's see how that looks like in real life. Once we set this live, let me set it live set live and let's see how that looks like in action. So I'm on my other account here and I'm going to go search up Martin for coaching. And we're just going to react to this story. What was the keyword? Email trigger, email trigger. Okay. So we sent, oops, let's go back. Okay. So email trigger. Hey, this is a lead magnet that you will get a picture. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Drop an email address where I can send. Now I will put a, a, a bad email address on purpose. Fart. It's going to tell me, Hey, doesn't seem like a correct email address. Please write a proper email address. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. I will drop my email address here. Gmail.com. All right. Perfect. Your lead magnet will be sent here in the next hours. By the way, I will just send you the lead magnet here on IG as well, just in case. Want it? Yes. Click to get it. And it takes me to the link that we just put in, which was the lead magnet. And that's how you collect email addresses on ManyChat. Now, I will make a separate video on how you can get these email addresses to automatically be added into your CRM, to automatically be added into your email list or email newsletter stuff. It's a little bit more complicated. This is a basic, simple email capture. Hope it's going to work out, work out nicely for you.